Well, this is it, uh, 40 months, and now we've reached the end of Shock and of the Shock Final Conference. Uh, joining us to uh, have a little bit of a retrospective on uh, the whole thing is Marika Willems, Project Manager at Trust IT and Shock Work Package Lead on Communication, Dissemination and Impact. Marika, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invite, Andreas. So perhaps, uh, could you give us, maybe as a whole, uh, an understanding of what your work and responsibilities were in relation to Shock? Yes, yeah, so uh, as you said, we, uh, we worked on the communication, dissemination and impact for Shock. This meant that we uh, worked on increasing the visibility of the project as a whole, its, uh, its aims that it wanted to achieve. Now we worked very close with uh, Work Package 6, which was a training and uh, capacity building work package. Uh, to activate user communities. We uh, made the technical results uh, visible and contact and, and engage the end user communities. We worked on creating synergies. Uh, an example, the whole project organized over 100 stakeholder engagement, uh, training, uh, awareness raising, and we build a lot of strong collaborations. I believe everyone who was here, whether physically or online, would agree. Um, now, this was, of course, work creating awareness, work attempting to reach communities, to reach users. Um, do you have a success story that uh, sticks out from the lot, looking back at the work being done? There, uh, there are many examples within the, the development of the tools. A lot of tools were developed in collaboration with users. Many of the organizations are already using the tools uh, that they developed. Uh, so we asked through trainings, we asked through events, we asked for the feedback, their input. But I think it's nice to mention the, the shock and tell challenge that we had today, where we asked uh, researchers, trainers, uh, research infrastructure professionals to, uh, to try out our tools and tell their user story. And we had six fantastic uh, researchers and, and trainers that, uh, that came and joined us in this challenge. And they told their story today. And uh, uh, they were all fantastic. We had to give a prize to three. Uh, and they were very well done. And we will make them accessible through the website. Really well, we got to hear that. Now, this was 40 months of work being done, setting up the tools, setting up the community, setting up the collaborations. And now with the project, of course, being officially over, we look towards its future and towards its sustainability. So what do you see as one of the challenges ahead for the future life of Shock and its tools? So I see uh, challenges, but I also see opportunities there. So, uh, for example, the MOU that has been that is now being signed by uh, by the partners, uh, it really gives. Uh, it, it's not the, an ending of the project. It, it continues the, the the community that we've built. The the project website will be maintained for five years, but we will want to give it an extra. Uh, we want to give it a, a more um, up to date uh, use to it. So we're in conversations with the US Future Project to see how we could uh, onboard that on the ES portal to expand it, to reuse it and to build upon that uh, for future use and for future expansion. Now, looking back at all of the work being done, at your work here, communicating, disseminating all of what is being done here, do you have perhaps an insight or a lesson learned that sticks out that you are going to take for the future yourself and that uh, other projects could take for the future? Yeah, I think there, there were two fundamental things in shock. We have on the one hand, we had the, the existing S3 landmarks and projects that had direct contact with their end user communities. We had Libra, the research library uh, network, uh, but we also had the smaller RIs, which brought also in uh, the data communities into, into shock. They were fundamental in contacting the end users uh, and building a unified community around shock. And then my second uh, recommendation is that the collaboration with the other initiatives really, really made a difference. It really helped us uh, connect to, to communities that we might not have in our, in our own networks, uh, build with the cluster projects as you've seen in the conference now, but also with other SSH, uh, EOS related projects, with Fair is Fair, um, with, uh, also with the EOS Future Project, of course. So I think those, uh, those synergies that we created were fundamental in, in, in increasing our impact in embedding ourselves in the EOSC landscape and a work towards the future uh, of creating an EOSC. Marika Williams, thank you so much for your time and thank you for all the work that you've done. I hope that you get to relax this evening and look back on, uh, on an achievement. It was a very nice uh, conference, I must say. We very much enjoyed it. Glad to hear it.